Hi, my name is Mike Welch. Today we are going to be looking at how to use the three different options in the Application Inquiry Reversal screen. In this video, we will walk through the steps to void a payment, reverse a payment application, and reclassify a payment application to a new customer. We will also talk about the options for a payment that is returned for non-sufficient funds. Let's first talk about if a payment is returned due to non-sufficient funds. The payment can be voided and a fee can be charged to the customer's account. The fee amount is specified in the AR Setup screen. If you wanted to set up the NSF Check Bank Charge Amount, you can do that by going to Financials, Accounts Receivable, the AR Setup screen, click the Customer Defaults tab. You will want to check the Automatically Generate NSF Check Bank Charge and enter the amount you want to charge, which in this case will do 25, and then save. Now let's walk through how to void a payment. You can void payments in the Application Inquiry Reversal screen. In the document area, type the ID of the customer associated with the payment in the Customer ID field. In this case, we'll do C300. Then type the number of the payment, in the Payment Memo Number field, or you can F3 to get a list of payments. We will use this payment. The type, the date, payment memo amount, cash account, cash subaccount, and customer balance fields display based on the payment selected. You will notice you can't choose the reverse selected application. This is because this payment has not been applied to an invoice. For this payment though, we are going to void it, so to do that, you will choose the Void Selected Application. If the payment is being voided due to an NSF check and a fee needs to be charged, you would select the Charge NSF Fee. In the Detail frame, all the documents that this payment is applied against display, which in this case, there are none since it wasn't applied to any. If this would have been applied to any invoices, and when the payment is voided, all the applications are reversed. Just a portion of a payment cannot be voided. You will then click Begin Processing. To see how this appears for the customer, let's go to Customer Maintenance. Pull up Customer C300. Go to Activity. And you will see where we have that NSF payment and where the charge for $25 was applied to this customer's account. Now let's look at how to reverse a payment application. We'll go to the Application Inquiry Reversal screen. We will use that same customer, C300 or payment memo number, we will use this payment. After you've selected the payment memo number, you will notice in the detail frame, it will list the invoices this payment has been applied to. You will select the invoices you want to unapply the payments for. Make sure reverse selected applications is checked, and then click begin processing. This payment will no longer be applied to those invoices and will be available to apply to an, any other invoice. You also can reclassify a payment application to a new customer in the screen by using the reclassify application to new customer and then selecting new customer ID as the new customer you want the payment associated with. This will then remove the payment from the previous customer and add it to the new customer. This concludes the process of how to void a payment and reverse a payment application and accounts receivable. I hope this video was helpful.